Today I want to introduce you to an important film that I saw a few months ago or several months ago and a book that I read a while back. Dale Bigtree is the producer of this film and he was also the producer of the show The Doctors that still come on TV. Two of the doctors on that show are also featured in this film. One of the things that stood out to me the most is a statement that Dale Bigtree made. And I'm just paraphrasing what he said. He said that he was told that there wasn't a connection between vaccines and autism. However, he would meet families who would tell him the same story, and that is their child was healthy, their child was developing normally, their child went to have a checkup, which entailed being vaccinated, and then inexplicably, the child becomes ill, and there is significant regression. And so the reason why that, his statement stood out the most to me is because I have been saying that same thing for years. I was told that there's no connection, yet I would evaluate a child and of course gather their medical history and I was hearing the same stories over and over again. My child was developing normally. They were fine. And the only thing they could think of was, well, we did have a recent doctor's appointment where his vaccinations were given. So if it is true, that leads me to the book I want to introduce because it's a possible solution. And that is um, the information that I got from this book titled, What Your Doctor May Not Tell You About Children's Vaccinations. And the author is Dr. Stephanie Cave and she's a medical doctor. As far as I know, she's still practicing in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I will leave her link in the description box. I always encourage my parents to purchase her book, and I typically give them a little copy, just an excerpt from her book, and it basically lines out her recommended vaccination schedule because that's what I have learned from the research that I have done is that it may not be so much the vaccine, but it's the way we administer vaccines that may be hurting our kids. Our babies and toddlers, maybe their immune system isn't strong enough to handle the vaccines that we're putting in their bodies. We do know that with autism, there is a genetic component and there's an environmental trigger. And when both of those collide, the brain begins to develop abnormally. And that's what autism is. So there's a lot of controversy over what the environmental trigger is. Is it air pollution? Is it their diets, the pesticides that we treat our our foods is it um the preservatives in vaccines is it the vaccines themselves is it a combination of of all of it we can argue over that but we need to do something and i feel like this is um a safe and a proactive way of trying to combat what's causing autism since we're still we still can't agree on what causes it so um, that's all I wanted to do was introduce the film and the book 
and I don't think I have anything else to say about that. And, and that's exactly how I present it to my parents. I saw this great film. You may want to check it out. Here's a great book. And um, this particular doctor, she has her recommendations on how she administers vaccinations. You know, read it, discuss it with your doctor, and then I, I move on. You know, everyone has to make their own informed decisions, but you have to be informed. You have to know what's out there. You have to be aware, and that's, that's the start. So if you check either one of these out, let me know what you think.